MSF are in Bangladesh because there was a huge influx of Rohingya people from Myanmar and they are there providing healthcare. It's really hard to describe the camp. It had been in the news a lot and knew there were a lot of people. I expected to find a very big refugee camp. I think the biggest shock to me was just I couldn't believe how big it was. I couldn't wrap my head around how many people were displaced in such a short period of time and that were now living in this camp unable to move. So a lot of the problems, um, the health problems that we're seeing in primary health care are respiratory diseases, um, skin diseases that are made worse because of the cramped living conditions. So they're the kind of things that we're seeing in the camp and primary health care. MSF is one of the NGOs that is providing secondary care. Um, there's a lot of NGOs providing primary care, not that many providing secondary care. So if MSF were not there, I think that secondary care, so more serious illnesses, there'd be a huge gap and people would ultimately die because they can't get treated. And because so many people were displaced so suddenly and in such violent circumstances, the trauma caused by that is really becoming evident now. I think some of the mental health counsellors now that are working for MSF are kind of reporting um, the after effects of this, the shock is wearing off and people are, they're frightened, they're becoming angry, they're becoming frustrated and there's no, the future is bleak, there's no, there's no certainty about the future. Um, mental health counsellors in that context are vital to help people cope. They're really resilient and they're, I've got nothing but admiration for them after everything they've been through. I just think they're amazing. You can really see the benefit of the work that we're doing out there. I think that is the most rewarding thing. Um, people are also very grateful. They are frustrated, sure, with their situation, but they're very grateful um, that you are there and that, and that you're trying to help. I think the main thing would be to not forget the crisis. Um, as I've said, there's, there's a lot of NGOs there at the moment. People's needs still aren't being met. There are just so many people. Um, I think a lot of um, funding will start disappearing, the crisis will get forgotten, and I think it's crucial that we don't forget that. And that's what I'd also say to MSF supporters, is that by supporting MSF, you make sure that this kind of crisis doesn't get forgotten. The MSF will continue working there even when the television cameras or the news cameras aren't there because the need will still be there. And that's something that I think MSF is one of the few NGOs that operate like that and that can do that, and that's thanks to them.